heat is going into the oceans, into the deep tropics, but heat comes out of the oceans off of the east coast of Asia and North America over the Gulf Stream and over the Kuroshio currents. And especially in winter, tremendous amounts of heat come out of the ocean. And so one of the implications of this is that where the heat goes into the ocean and where the heat comes out are two different places, how does it get from one to the other? Well, the ocean currents actually transport that heat. And so what we have been able to do now for the first time is to compute the transport of energy uh, by the ocean currents, a transport of heat by the ocean currents. It, it's basically heat in the ocean. We don't have to worry about other forms of energy very much. And so it turns out this relates to marine heat waves. There's a massive marine heat wave uh, just a few years ago in the North Pacific, and there's another modest one going on now. And, you know, this has major consequences for ecosystems. There are estimated 100 million cod lost in that heat wave in the Pacific, lasting for a couple of years. And in fact, all throughout the whole of the food web, from the phytoplankton to the zooplankton to the fish of all different sizes to the marine mammals, including seals and otters and so on, uh, and even whales, there was documented substantial losses in, in that particular case.